hi there welcome to my channel okay in this video i'm going to show you about the trigonometry for igcse mathematics so we will start with sine rule cosine rule and lastly area for triangle okay let us move to the sine rule okay now to use a sine rule the angle will be represented by a capital letter and the length of this side will be represented by a small letter. So you have to remember that the angle and the opposite is the, is the length of it. All right. So the formula for sine rule is given by, by this formula. And you can see that the angle here. All right. And here is the length. So this is a pair. So we can use this this rule when there is a, a pair. All right. For example, I will be doing some examples for you. All right. Okay. This is a question number one. As you can see here, uh, the angle is given, and we have to find the length of x. Okay. Now. By using this sine rule, we have to find a pair, all right? So you can see this angle, the angle over here and the length over here, it appears to be a pair, all right? So we have to use both of these and substitute in either, either A or B. It's up to you, all right? Okay, so now, this 95 and uh, is the angle and the 10.9 is the length, right? So what we can do here, we can substitute inside this formula. Okay, so we have done the first pair at this side. And then it has to be equals with the another pair, which is the 55 and also the x, the length. So sine 55 over x. And now we have to find the value of x. Okay, the x we have to move to the opposite side. It will become multiply. Okay, and then we have to move the sine 95. 95 and 10.9 to the opposite side. So here is your step. So, first we move the 10.9 to the opposite side. So, it will become 10.9 sine 55. And then over the sine 95 will be moved down. It will become a divide. Okay, now we can find the value of x. So the value of x that we have obtained over here by using calculator and you will be getting the answer as 8.963 okay make it into a three decimal places and since here is centimeter so we just have to follow here centimeter okay so i'll be giving you another example Okay, for the second question here, uh, we have given a pair over here, 105 as the angle and here is the length 12.5 and here the angle is becoming x and you can see the pair over here is a 7.2 length. Alright, so by substituting all these values into the sine formula, sine 105 over Okay, we have to use the pair. Okay, 12.5 and sine x over sine x over 7.2. Okay, so the 7.2 here we have to move up and it will become multiply. And then we find the value. Alright, by using calculator. So, this value is given by 
is given by 0 point 0 0.5564 equals to sine x. So we move the sign to the opposite side, it will become sine to the power of inverse of sine sine to power of negative one and then put a bracket there 0 0.5564 equals to x and uh, we can find this value by using calculator so make sure you have inverse to the sign and put in the value 0 0.5564 and you'll be getting here the x value as 33 0.81 okay this is the angle for this x all right all right so here we come to a cosine rule or loss of cosine all right so the formula for cosine rule is given by a square plus uh, equals to b square plus c square minus with 2bc and you have here cos a okay this is the formula for cosine rule okay to remember this cosine rule is quite easy okay all you have to do is we have to remember that this a which is the length and this a which is the angle it appears to be a pair okay so this is where we have to keep note of it all right let us try this in an example okay before we go to the examples of the question i'm going to ask when does this apply in a mathematical question okay so we only can apply this cosine rule when there is no pair given all right this is where we have to apply the cosine rule now let us look at the question now okay question one okay now we if we look at this triangle right okay there is no pair exists but you can see here the question is asking find x find the length of this side okay so when we refer to this formula cosine formula we have a pair which is the a the length of this and the a here is given by the angle all right and then the b and c is given by the length of this okay so we can have to substitute this the a equals to x so we just put the x square then the b we can choose either one as a b so uh, let me choose uh, 11.2 as the b and don't forget to square it we plus with c which is 8.9 we square it and minus with okay now we see here there's a b and c right and we just have to minus 2 and multiply b and c again all right so Put a bracket 11.2 open bracket again we have to write a 8.9 and then here will be cos 1 to 5 all right okay so by using the calculator we get the value for this one first So x square equals to 11.2 v square and then we plus with 8.9 and we square again and for these two you will be getting the answer 204.65 and then here we have to multiply okay and here we have to multiply so 
minus right so here will be 2 multiply with 11.2 multiply with 8.9 and we have to multiply with cos 125 which comes about okay so here will be minus 114.35 okay so i just round it off here all right so here will become a plus so six five we plus with one one four point three five and you'll be getting your answers here 319 and so the square we move to the opposite side it becomes it becomes square root square root of 319 and you'll be getting your answer x is equals to x is equals to 17.86 centimeter okay this is your answer so this is the way how to solve the first case now i'll be explaining to you about the second case okay when we should use cosine rule case number two is when you have no angle given when there is no angle given in the question okay this is here this is our second case now let us look at the question okay this is the second question for the second case okay now you can see here there is no angle is given all right so only length is given here so let's say the question is we have to find find angle of x okay let's see we just put here this is the x okay now you can see this is the pair all right this is the pair is the angle and this is the length so the rest will become the b and c okay so first uh, the a will be 8.7 we square it okay then b and c will be either 5.5 or 10 so we just put your 5.5 square plus with 10 square and then minus to 5.5 and then we multiply with 10 and we have here cos cos x okay now this 5.5 square and the 10 will move to the opposite side to becoming minus it will become minus minus 10 and equals to okay don't forget that this is a multiply all right so minus 2 5.5 and here's 10 and here's our cos x okay we just have to make it simplify first before we proceed it will make the calculation much more easier so by calculation and here we are getting here minus 54.56 and then here will be and here will be minus 110 and here's cos x Okay, and then the minus 110 will move to the opposite side and it will become a divide. It becomes divide equals to cos x. Okay, by the calculation, uh, minus 
minus minus will become a positive and here we have the answer 0 0.496 equals to cos x and the cos will move to the opposite side will become inverse and your x answer will be x is given as 60 point two six okay this is the angle for our x so we have obtained the answer for this uh, for the second case so i have explained to you the first case which is there is no pair for the first case and the second case there is no angle provided all right so i hope you understand about the cosine rule so for Okay, please remember that when you are using sine rule, you must have a pair. Okay, a pair of angle and also the length given. Okay, this is for sine rule. Okay, for cosine rule, this is the first case that we have done just now. There is no pair given. Alright, so the pair means is the angle and the length. No pairs given. This is for the first case. And for the second case is there is no angle provided and you only have the length of the sides so it means like you have the a b and c and no angle is given okay so i hope please don't get confused between a sine rule and cosine rule and i hope you can understand both of these rules at the end of this video okay for area of triangle all right so we have the formula 1 over 2 b c sin a okay this is the formula of area of triangle now if you, as you can see here the b c is the length all right the length of the length of the triangle just beside the angle okay this is the angle all right so this is the formula or now let us do some example of the questions okay this is the first question now finding the area of this triangle so we have the angle over here and at the length of the sides just beside the angle Okay, by using the formula 1 over 2, we can put that A, B. Both of this is the length, right? Just beside the angle. And this is the, the angle. Okay, now 1 over 2. The A, we can put there 7.5. Close the bracket. And here we have 5 centimeter. And sine is 120. Okay, and by inserting all this value in the calculator, you'll be getting 1 over 2. Multiply with 7.5, multiply with 5, and multiply with sine 120. And you'll be getting all the answer, uh, which is 16 point. Two, three and you just have to put there centimeter square all right this is your answer for this question 